Well, hello there, gorgeous. You are looking just, oh, scrumptious today. Honestly, I could just like eat you up. I won't because that's cannibalism and it's frowned upon in most cultures, but I could, I could, I could. So today I just wanted to talk about a product from a company that is very near and dear to my heart and you've probably guessed what it is. Uh, yes, today we are going to be looking at the new Charlotte Tilbury lip and cheek tints. So as far, <laughs> So as far as I'm aware, these are currently limited edition. They have come out early. They're only available this week and they're actually coming out properly next year. So this is what they are. These are the Tinted Love Lip and Cheek Tint. There are five of them. I got all five shades, obviously, because I have <laughs> no self-control whatsoever when it comes to buying makeup. <laughs> so I'm just gonna list off the shades to you. So first off, we have Petal Pink. We have Bohemian Kiss, Love Chain, Tripping on Love, and Santa Euphoria. Interesting choices of names. Can't say I love the names, but you know what? It's not about the names, it's about the products. So today I thought I'd just come on camera without any blush or lip products on, and we just test these out together, do some swatches, and we'll see what it is like. So these do retail for, I can't remember, hold on. <laughs> Where is my phone? <laughs> Okay, Laura, do you come to your videos prepared? Of course I do. I come here completely prepared with all the prices and everything. Okay, okay so these retail for 32 euros. That is very expensive. I mean, Charlotte Tilbury is already expensive because it is a luxury brand anyway, but that is very expensive uh, for what it is. I'm not sure how much product you get here. Let me see if I can find it. 10 milliliters. 10 milliliters. So you're paying 32 euros for 10 milliliters of product. That is a teaspoon. Okay, so let's just see if it's worth it. Now, you guys know I love Charlotte Tilbury. I love Charlotte Tilbury. I don't mind paying the price if it's a good product. So if it's good, I can justify it. So I'm just gonna open them, run through the colors, have a look at the shades, do some swatches and see how we feel. So first off we have Love Chain, a very kind of bold primary red. Okay, so I do like the packaging. Like the component here, it's like a matte finish on this end and this end has got the classic Charlotte Tilbury gold. Let's have a look. Okay, that's a very strange looking applicator. I'm gonna give you a close up. Can you see that? It's like a kind of pointy. Okay, this, the color on the on the applicator there does not look true to the color of the component. So we'll see. I have to do a smell test. There's a bit of a scent. Just kind of smells like, it's just got a bit of a sweet scent. I don't know if it's meant to, but it does. So let's just give it a little swatch on the hand here. Okay, so it's quite a thin formula. It's quite sheer, but that is what you want ideally in a lip and cheek tint because you don't want it to completely overtake the look. Looks to be buffing out nicely. The colour is actually a lot different to how it looks on here. Um, on here, when it's all quite dense, it looks a lot darker. Here it's a lot lighter. Okay, so that was... Okay, so that was Love Chain. So far, so good. Okay, here we have Santa Euphoria. I just don't get the name. I just don't get it. I, I don't know, maybe it's me. Maybe I'm just being willfully stupid, but I don't get the name. Um, okay. Okay, let's give it a little swatch. Buff it out with a clean finger. Okay, this one like fades to nothing almost. I think my skin here might be a little bit too dark for this. Um, I have a little bit of a tan going on at the moment. I am using the Bondi Sands like gradual tanning moisturizer. Um, so it's working a little bit. So yes, yeah, it's a little bit, a little bit pale for me at the moment. Now, as you can see, I'm not using the the self tanner on my face because I don't trust myself to use self tanner on my face because I'll probably ruin it. Okay, but yeah, that second shade hasn't blown me away, but we'll see. Okay, next shade is Petal Pink. I do really like the packaging. Like the packaging is adorable. 
that they are really playing up to the floral rosiness of the whole thing. Okay, petal pink. This is the one that kind of attracted me the most, I think, the color. It did look really pretty on the website. Okay, it looks quite true to the packaging. Let's have a look. Ooh, this one looks nice. Oh, can't get the lid back on. Okay. It kind of buffs that to nothing again, you know what I mean? Hmm, okay. That one didn't wow me as much. Okay, this one is Bohemian Kiss. My nails at the moment are a state, you guys. Ireland is in lockdown 2.0. Um, so obviously everything's closed, can't get my nails done, my hair done, my eyebrows done, so I have man hands at the moment. Okay, so Bohemian Kiss. Hmm, huh, interesting, let's see. Ooh, I like the look of that one. Ooh, pretty, okay. How does this distribute? Let's see. Ooh, that one's pretty. I didn't think I'd like this one. I thought this would be my least favorite, but oh, can you see it? That's quite pretty. Although it is kind of fading out to nothing now that I'm looking at it. These are very sheer. They're very sheer. I don't know if they're gonna have very much staying power to them, but I guess we'll see. Okay, let's have a look at this one. This one is tripping on love. Now, does it mean tripping like, you know, falling over or tripping, you know, the other kind of tripping? You know the kind. Very dark shade. Let's see what she's like. Ooh, pretty. Okay. Put this one down here. Ooh, okay, pretty. Well, that's what I said about the last three and then I wasn't very impressed. Okay, let's just... Oh, that is nice. Okay, that is very nice. Okay, so I really like this first one, the... um. Oh my god, what were you called? Love Chain. And I really like this last one. Tripping on Love. So I need a shade to use for my cheeks and my lips. So I think... Okay, I think for my lips, I'm going to go... No, for my cheek, I'm going to go Tripping on Love. For my lips, I'm going to go Love Chain. I think. Okay. Okay, so I'm just going to apply this quite... Spe Okay, so I am just going to apply this quite sparingly to the cheeks. I'm going to kind of keep it to the apples of my cheeks. Let's go. And then, am I, you know, I was going to use my finger to buff it out. I'm actually going to use a sponge. So this is just a damp beauty Oh. Bleh, a damp beauty sponge that I use to buff out my foundation. Let's give this a go. Hello? <laughs> is it me or is that like not doing anything? Okay, I'll try again on my finger, see if that makes a difference. Okay, yeah, I think the sponge was soaking up too much of the product. You know, it's very sheer. But I don't think I mind that because that means it's buildable, which means when a product is buildable, it's very hard to go wrong because you can just keep adding and adding and getting the desired effect that you want bit by bit. Okay, I like that. Okay, so this is the side that has no blush and this is the side that has the tint. I think I like that. Okay, let's try to the other side. I look like Pippi long stockings like this. Okay, you know what? I actually really like that. It's so gentle, it's so subtle. It's got such like a lovely natural finish. It would be interesting to see how the lighter shades compare. You know what? I'm gonna test out the lighter shades on my Instagram. My Instagram is linked down below in the description, so you can go ahead and follow me there. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm definitely gonna test out the other shades on my Instagram stories. But so far, 
I really like that. So that was tripping on love on the cheeks. And now I'm going to put love chain on my lips. I am, I am going to apply straight from the application to my lips, but I am going to just take off quite a lot of the product there because it is a little bit kind of gloopy at first. Okay, here we go. Oh, I have a feeling I'm going to like this a lot. I mean, top lip compared to bottom lip. That is some good colour payoff. It's very smooth. It feels very kind of like nourishing on the lips. It feels very like conditioning, very hydrating. It's not sticky, it's not slimy. It's not drying down quickly. I haven't decided if I like that or not. But you know, overall the effect is really pretty. I mean, I feel really cute now. <laughs> okay, I think I like this. I think I like it. I am glad because there's only been one item from Charlotte Tilbury that I haven't liked before and that's the new Pillow Talk Mascara just because I think it's too clumpy and it's kind of difficult to apply. So... Yeah, I'm really happy that I like this, especially when the price is so high and the um, quantity is so little, but the quality is very high. Would I recommend? Yeah, I would actually. I would 100% recommend, well, I would recommend the shades that I've tried. And like I say, go over to my Instagram account linked in the description to see if I would recommend the other shades, but so far, so good. There you go. Okay, you guys, thank you so much for tuning in today. Thank you for watching. I had fun. Hopefully you had fun. And I don't know, hopefully you'll try these out and let me know what you think. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, ring the bell, and to leave me a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts, opinions, anything. I just love talking to you guys. That is it for this video. Thank you so much. And I love your guts. See you in the next one. Bye.